Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub by Dr. Tanya Bose. I hope you have seen my previous videos on different topics of lattice. So in my last video I talked about a complemented lattice. Today I will teach you about a distributive lattice. So let's come to the definition of a distributive lattice. A lattice L with less than or equal to, that is the relation defined, is called distributive if for all A, B, C belonging to L, A join B meet C is equal to A join B meet with A join C. And similarly, by the principle of duality, it should also be the second property of distributive law. That is, A meet B join C is equal to A meet B join with A meet C. Right? So, if any three pair of elements satisfy both the properties and all the pairs present in the lattice to satisfy these two properties, then we say that the given lattice is right. So let's take the first example. You are given this lattice and we need to check whether it is distributive or not. So let us pick up the first pair of elements that is A, B and C. Right. So let's check whether it is distributive or not. So for distributive, the first law says A join B meet C should be equal to A join B meet with A join C, right? Now, since we have to check whether they are equal or not, so let's calculate the left hand side separately and the right hand side separately. And then we will match the two answers, right? Now, what does B meet C? I hope you remember the meanings of join and meet. It is very, very important throughout the chapter. So if you don't know what are the meanings of join and meet, then you are in a big trouble, right? The join is the first point of contact in the upward direction. Meet is the first point of contact in the downward direction. So B meet C. B meet C is the element E. So you will get A join E. And what is A join E? A join E is the element E. Right? Now let's come to the next right hand side. A join B. A join B is the element D. And what is A join C? It is the element D again. And what does D meet B? It is the element D. So is the left hand side equal to the right hand side? No, it is not. Right? So we can say that this is not a distributive lattice. So if we are lucky enough that we pick up the first pair of elements and we get that, that it is not distributive, then we are done. Right? Otherwise, if you count how many elements are present here, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements, right? So, out of those 5 elements, we have to pick up 3. So, how many combinations we'll get? We'll get 5C3 combinations. And how much is 5C3? That is the number 10. So, you have to exhaust all the 10 cases otherwise, right? But in this case, since A is not equal to D, so we are getting that it is a non distributed block, right? Okay. Let's check out the next example. So in the next example, we are given the lattice and we need to check whether it is distributive or Now to check whether it is distributive or not, so let's again check the pair of elements. Let us take the next pair as A, B, C. So according to the distributive law, it is A join B meet C should be equal to A join B meet with a join C. Right? So now what is B meet C? B and C are meeting for the first time at the point D. And what is A join D? It is the element A. Now let's come to the right hand side. What is A join B? It is B. And what is A join C? It is the element E. Now what is B meet E? It is the element B. So again we are lucky. Whatever we have chosen the first pair as, in that first pair, it is not satisfying the distributive law. And hence, we can declare that it is not a distributive law. Right? So, let's come to the third example. So, now, if you check the number of elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, now, how many combinations will you get here? 6C3 is 20, right? 6C3 is 20. So that means if this lattice is distributive, 
then we have to exhaust all the 20 possibilities, all the 20 elements, pair of elements. And then we have to see whether it satisfies the distributive law or not, right? So you can see that it is a lengthy question, right? So in that case, you will miss some of the pairs and you will forget to check them. So now what is the shortcut method? How to check whether a lattice is distributive or not? Now according to that, it says that a lattice is distributive if every element has at most one complement. Every element has at most one complement. Now what is the meaning of at most? At most means maximum. That means either it will have no com complement or it will have only one complement, right? So let us try to calculate the complement of each of these elements present in this lattice. So let us prepare a table. We'll write the elements and we'll write the complements here, right? So A complement, B complement, C complement, B complement, E complement and F complement, right? Now, first of all, let us try to calculate the complement of the element C. So, you can clearly see that the lower bound is C and the upper bound is F. So, the complement of C is the element F, right? So, C complement is F and definitely F complement is C. Now, let's try to work out with the element A. Now, what is the complement of A? Can we have the complement of A as B? It cannot be because A join B gives you E. It should give us S, right? Then can the complement be E? No, because A join B is an N, E. Can the complement be D? No, because A join D will give us D. So can the complement of A be F? A join F will give F, but A meet F will give A. It should give us C, right? That means does the complement of A exist? No, it does not exist. Right? Now let's come to the element B. Now what is the complement of B? The complement of B, you can see it is the element B. B join D is F and B meet D is C. So the complement of B is D and the complement of B is B. Now let's come to the element E. Now what is the complement of E? you will find that the complement of E does not exist in this lattice, right? So that means we are able to achieve the, we are able to calculate the complements of each of the elements. And according to this definition, every element should have at most one complement. So can you see that either the element has some complement, only one complement, or it does not have a complement. So it's, it's satisfying this property. And hence, this lattice, will be distributive in nature, right? So that means if you check by this method, you have to check all the 20 pairs. So it is very difficult process, right? So it is better in that case, you can go by the definition of complement and you can check by that method, right? So let us try to check another question with the help of this complement method. You are given this lattice and you need to check whether it is distributive or not, right? So again, let's try to list out all our elements, O complement, A complement, C complement, B complement, and I complement, right? Okay. So now what is the complement of O? You can easily see that the lower bound is O and the upper bound is I. So the complement of O is I and the complement of I is O. Now, what is the complement of the element A? Is it D? A join D will give you I and A meet D will give you O. So, definitely the complement of A is D. And similarly, the complement of B will be A. Now, let's come to C. What is the complement of C? Is the complement of C D? C join D is I, C meet D is O. So, definitely the complement of C is D. So the complement of D will also become C. So now in this list, you can see that element D is having more than one complement. So the property that I told you that was that every element should have at most one complement. So this element is having more than one complement. So 
will it be a distributive in nature? No. This lattice is not distributive. Right? You can also check the pairs. If you check the pair A, C and D, you will find that A joint C meet D. C meet D will give you O and A joint O will give you A. And when you check the right hand side of the distributive law, it is A joint C meet A joint D. So A joint C will be C and A joint D will be I. And when you take the meet of C and I, it will give you C. So you can clearly see that A is not equal to C and hence it is not distributed. Right? So you can go by both the definitions. Suppose you are attempting for MCQ based question for any competitive exam. And you can check for the complements. And if you are doing it for a subjective paper, then you can check the pairs and you can show whether they are satisfying the distributive law or not. Right? So I have one more exercise for you. So you can try this problem and do comment me if there is any problem, right? Answer is already given in this video. So you can check it later on after you attempt the question, right? So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, do subscribe my channel, like the videos and do comment for any improvement or any topic that you want to get included. So believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed. Thank you so much.